to Ira Modular Customizer app offers some useful ways to expand on the stock functions of the Ira modules. Sometimes in complex ways, as we have seen with the previous FM kick and drum machine exercises. Combining these functions with creative routing can lead to even more interesting uses. On its own, the compressor is fairly powerful, controlling the dynamic range of a signal. But when combined with another new virtual module, the enveloper, an envelope follower and generator, the compressor can be controlled by a separate audio signal, creating a common effect used in popular electronic music, a sidechain compressor. Let's begin with a clean slate in the Customizer app, starting a new file and disconnecting all cables. Click on an empty slot in the Customizer, and load the compressor from page 2 of the menu. Route the virtual audio input 1 to the input on the compressor, and then out from the compressor to the virtual audio output 1. Now we can route an oscillator signal from our modular system into the compressor via the module's audio input 1. Route a sawtooth waveform from an oscillator in your system into input 1, so that we have a nice loud sound to compress. Set the ratio to around 100% so that we can hear the very exaggerated effect of the compressor. Now let's set up the compressor by raising the threshold to around 70 to 75%. Notice as the threshold rises, the signal gets louder. By altering the threshold, we can control the level of the compressor. In your modular system, let's create a kick drum in the style of our first YouTube video tutorial. Let's route the kick drum from the output of the VCA into audio input 2 on the Roland module. This is the drum signal which we will use to control our sidechain compressor. In the software, let's try routing the audio input 2 directly to the threshold input. When we trigger the kick drum, we should hear a noisy result, as the kick drum waveform creates an oscillating effect on the threshold, causing an undesirable increase in volume. This is where the enveloper comes into play. By triggering the envelope with our kick, we can effectively smooth the signal and release length of the waveform to modulate the compressor threshold. The kick attack and decay times will still shape the threshold, with the release time on the enveloper offering some additional control. Let's reroute our kick through an enveloper. We don't want to boost the threshold when we send our enveloper signal. So we want to use the inverse output, not the main out. This will ensure that the threshold is turned down as the kick drum rises, returning to its full volume as the drum releases in the expected sidechain compression style. You may want to play with the compressor threshold and ratio values to get a more subtle effect. You'll also want to route the compressor out through your IRA effect and then out to the output to get the combination of the sidechain compression as well as your original IRA modular effect. But the basic function of a sidechain compressor has been achieved using some simple routing in the Customizer app, only adding to the functionality of the original module and leaving room for even more virtual functions. As always, thanks for watching and please like, follow, and subscribe.